Welcome to another herping video in Queensland. This one is a few nights targeting mulga snakes and Australian coral snakes just west of the coastal ranges around the Townsville region. See how we get on tonight guys, 36 degrees it's given and it's just about to go dark so uh, yeah very warm night tonight, see how it goes. We'll fuel up and give it a go. While most of this video is road cruising, I did stop around a few records for various gecko species I wanted to see, and had a fair bit of success. The first find of the night in fact was this spiny knobtail gecko, Nephrurus asper. These robust geckos live around the boulders and rocky outcrops in the dry woodlands of Queensland, and camouflage well against the sandy substrate. Unlike a lot of gecko species, these spiny knobtails are unable to drop their tails if grabbed by a predator. I was really pleased to find these guys, and to be able to take a few shots, but the next thing we saw on the road was even better. We've got a king brown, so bad up king brown. This is the first one I've ever seen. I've never worked with one of these snakes before and obviously it was very defensive at first because he'd just been caught on the road, but now the snakes calmed down a little, I've been able to get a few shots and I'm really stoked to be able to witness this snake in the wild. Like I said, king brown, technically not a brown snake, technically a black snake, member of the Sudecus genus but they are, of course, a brown snake to look at morphologically. And they do throw a better hood, which the Sudanaya of the true browns, false cobra, that name means, would suggest. And they do hood a bit, but this guy actually hoods the best um, from, what I've, from what I've seen and what I've heard. This one was doing the defensive hood on the, on the road. They didn't have, they don't have quite the same venom toxicity. If you go on the LD50 values, which if you're into that, the, the Sudanaya have the real potent venom but these guys do have a bigger venom yield they get much much bigger they have big heads with big big venom glands in the, in there and they'd really pump you full of venom so getting bit out here would be atrocious to make some sense of what i said there the true brown snakes which is a genus pseudonia will be expected to give the most significant hood in their defensive display due to the name pseudonia meaning false naya so false cobra Whereas in reality, these mulgas exhibit more of that defensive hood, despite being in a different genus. Hopefully that makes a bit more sense. The mulga snake has a varied diet, which includes a lot of reptilian prey, and they're recorded feeding on other venomous snakes fairly frequently. They have a vast distribution, covering the vast majority of Australia, with the exception of Victoria and Tasmania. And what a privilege that we've got to see this one on the road. I'm going to try and get a few more shots now, and then uh, I'll try a film releasing him. Hopefully this video is doing him justice because that is a special snake right there. Well, it's time to let this little mulga snake, king brown snake go now. Grabbed a few quick shots. And now we've just popped him off the road. Taken a, a semi, well it's not an in situ because he was on the road, but a semi natural shot. And now we're just going to walk away. No need to try and send the snake anywhere. We've taken him off the side of the road that he was going. So now hopefully he won't recross the road and he'll be safe from any of the passing cars. And we've had an interaction. I've stayed safe, the snake stays safe. That's what you want. And what a privilege to get to see snakes like this. I would love to see a big one, but I'm really glad just to see my first mulga. To be honest, these shouldn't really have been so high on my target because they're so widespread. They've got a very vast distribution across Australia, so you, you can find them in a lot of different places, but I just really, really wanted to see one of these, to be honest. I hope that's not blowing them out too much of light, but... Yeah, that's enough. It, again, I always say this, it's easy to spend a lot of time with the target species, but best to let him go on his way. What a nice, healthy sub-adult snake. I've put in the best pictures I managed of this mulga, which weren't the best, but I was being fairly cautious. Hopefully these ones also show the way they flatten the neck to create a bit of a hood as a show of the defensive posture. Now I also included this brief footage, even though it's the wrong way up, of an eastern brown that flew off the road in front of me not long after the mulga. Not the best but it shows we saw another species. Then we found this eastern scaly foot on the road, which was a new species for me, and while I was trying to get pictures of it I forgot to do any footage where I talked about it, but to summarise them, they're a nocturnal legless lizard species which feeds on invertebrates, although due to low metabolism they feed rarely and frequently. You have to be a bit careful with these because they can look very similar to highly toxic snakes such as small eastern browns. Got a good sized carpet python on the road here. One of the more common species. Seems like carpet pythons and spotted pythons are probably the 
predominant species found on this road. I'll just turn so we're not pointing to the headlights. I'm not hugely bothered about taking any pictures of these guys or anything else. I've seen plenty of them. And uh, we're seeing a lapids tonight. We've had a king brown and uh, I'm not sure what that was that we lost on the road. Either an eastern brown or a demancy, one of the whip snakes. So we'll let this one on his way. And then we'll keep on cruising. Although I am going to take him off the other side just because uh, he was going the other way and I've disturbed him. So chances are if I left him, he'd go off the road, but he'd come back on. And although this is a really quiet road, uh, we still don't want him getting hit. So we'll just pop him on the other side. Got a defensive little Wager on the road. But I've left the car in the middle of the road and we've seen plenty of them. So just going to let him go on his way. Just started making our run back. A little carpet parking on the road. But this bit is uh, past the town, so it's slightly busier. So just gonna shoot this guy off the road. It's quite a nice one though, lovely patternings on that. I've got to sort of taking these for granted a bit and not really appreciating which I should, because they are cool snakes. Let's get this one off the road to safety. Next was another big gecko target, the Eastern spiny tail Gecko, and my first member of the Struthurus genus. We actually found two of these geckos in close proximity, sat on thin tree branches a few feet off the ground. These geckos are endemic to the semi-arid region of eastern Australia and have an interest in defensive behaviour involving their tail. Caudal glands in the tail can shoot out thin sprays of a sticky and odorous substance which can cause predators to become irritated and release the gecko. They also have bright blue on the insides of their mouth and it was really nice to be able to get some photos of this species which you're seeing now. I thought that was the last find of the night, but right outside Townsville, I got one last reptile, which was my first blue tongue skink. This one is an eastern or common blue tongue skink, and it was a pristine juvenile specimen. All my batteries were dying on the head torches and camera at this point, but I managed to get one in focus photo, which shows you this pristine specimen a little better. After that, I got back, didn't do any herping in the day, but the next night, I headed back out. Alright guys, last night on this road, not sure what order you will have seen these in or how I'll edit it up, but... Um, yeah, we've got one more night on the road and we're going to go out. Target's going to be an Australian coral snake or really just anything we haven't seen yet, anything new. And yeah, I'm pretty confident. Uh, it's had a very, very warm day. Temperatures are top 40 degrees today. It's the, the, it's the high of January. So nothing will have been active through the heat of the day. That tarmac will have a lot of heat in it. And hopefully we can find some stuff set out on the roads. Do you see that full moon behind me? Full moon night, which people don't rate, but... I'm daft enough to go out there and give it a go anyway. I think we, I think we should do all right. Let's see how we get on. Guys, first snake of, of this night is a little curl snake. This is really cool. This is one of the elapid species that you find out here. Uh, it's called Suta Suta. There's a few species in the Suta genus found in Australia. Like I say, venomous little snake, it's an elapid. We found a DOR of this species a couple of nights ago. So it's really nice to see one alive. It's my first one of these. I've never seen these before. I thought maybe it looked just like that little Eastern Brown that we saw on the road last night. I thought maybe it was one of them, but when I got up close, the head shape and head markings give it away as Suta Suta. So that's a really cool find. New Alapid for me. That's a great start to the night. I hope uh, the phone video does it justice. Sometimes I think I should be using the proper camera, but it just seems so dull on the colors. Hopefully that is. Try and focus on the head there. He's probably going to get on the move again now, so if I, if I want to grab a few shots, I probably better be quick about it, but yeah, just wanted to show you. Great start to the night. I did manage to pop this one off the road and grab a few shots. I've been in Australia a while at the time of editing this video, and I've since realised how abundant these curl snakes can be. I've lost count of how many I've found throughout many states in Australia. But this being the first one I'd seen explains how keen I was to film and photograph it, and it actually stayed really still while I got off these shots. DMR common tree snake there guys, Dendrolaphus punctuatus. Bit sad that species I haven't seen and would like to see. I've only seen one road train go one way and one car go the other, so you do have to get pretty unlucky to get hit on this road, but it does happen. Let's flick him off the road or I'll spend all night breaking for him. Next snake on the road. I have filmed a lot of these, should probably stop, but they're nice snakes, carpet pythons. When I was in Cairns, I really wanted to see one of these and I dragged people out, targeted him. And everyone's like, you will see plenty of these. And uh, I have, 
This is a nice one about four or five foot. Nice healthy one just making his way across the road. Good density of these here. So I'm sure it won't be the last we'll see. Just walking back to the car and I realised that that carpet python had the perfect culvert right here to go nice and safely underneath the road. But he's not using it. He's crossing the road and risking it. Which is not good, but you can't expect him to make those kind of decisions. Well guys, we've got another mulga snake. This one is a proper juvenile, it's smaller than the one um, we got last night. It was just sticking its head out onto the road. I flew past it and then I've gone back and luckily it was still in the same place. So I've got to see another one. I thought for a second it was an Eastern Brown. Sudanaya textilis, but it's not. It's a, it's a little mulga, a little King Brown. Just take this opportunity to film this the snake moving for a bit because it's rare just to see them. They're very, they're much twitchier than I than I thought than I've seen in videos. Almost remind me somewhat of crates in Asia. They are very, very twitchy and I would never ever handle one this size. It's very small. Good thing I was done with him. <laughs> Didn't really get any good pics of this mulga as I just let it shoot off the road, but this still maybe shows it a little bit clearer. And we've just done the final run down the road outwards and it has been really quiet actually. We had a hell of a start on the uh, brown snakes, curl snakes, we had a carpet python and at Burton. So I was really feeling confident and now it's just really tapered off. And I think a lot of that is what I was saying about taking sitting snakes off the road as opposed to those snakes crossing, but just a theory. Same with the the full moon. A lot of people would have said not worth road cruising on a full moon, but we have done quite well. So I don't fully buy into that as such a strict rule, but no doubt it does have its effects. Um, while I'm waffling as well, I just wanted to say if you enjoy these videos or you know anyone who might like to watch them, do me a favour and share them, like them, subscribe, anything you might do to help me out because I really can't get the ball rolling with these videos and I feel like we are finding some quite cool stuff and there might be people out there who'd enjoy this because I always looked for videos of this nature and I couldn't really find many so hopefully I can maybe uh, make this a bit better. If there are some stuff that you're not quite liking and you're not subscribing because of that let me know I can try and change some stuff up but that's enough of a, a shameless bumping bit of waffle. For now let's get back on the road and see if we can find some more snakes because if you are watching the video that's probably what you're after and so am I. So let's do that. Another Burton's legless lizard. Pretty plentiful reptile around here, they're pretty abundant. I think I've found them most nights now. Uh, they're not going to do any pictures or anything with this one. I've seen plenty of these and this is a fairly plain one. They have some great variation these guys, so... Nicer ones get, get photographed, this one. We'll just send him on his way. Get off the road. I only just saw him. He could easily have been one of these little... There's random little white lines on the road for no reason and they just keep making me think it's a snake but I just discern that as a, an actual reptile. Just in time. That nearly got me as well. I didn't film them all but we found a fair few Burton's legless lizards this trip. The best looking one did get photographed which is the one you're seeing here. Again, I've since seen these at various points over their vast distribution but their difference in colours and patterns always makes them an interesting find. Snake on the road, a little brown tree snake, another common one, but we hadn't seen anything for a while. A whole pass of the road, actually. So nice to get another snake, just like that one cross of his own accord. Little live bear in a lapidsies, uh, they make their way through the scrub and the leaf litter, hunting for skinks, geckos, legless lizards, and that's what they feed on. But because we've seen one of these already, we photograph one, we're just going to pop this one off the road and keep cruising. This is quite a nice one as well. This is about as big as they get. I think, well, I think 60 centimetres is the biggest uh, they've been recording. This one is probably 40, which is probably your usual sort of adult size. A little Burton's legs this lizard on the road to liven up what's turned into quite a quiet night after that curl snake. I thought we we're going to have a pretty hot run again but 
Well, we've cruised something on the way back. I didn't expect this. We've cruised a turtle. I could not tell you what species of turtle that is. I want to say snake neck turtle maybe because it has a very long neck. But yeah, that is, that's what I expected when I was nearly home. And I've just come across this guy. So at least that's saved the night slightly because it's a very slow night. This is probably the last uh, herp of this video, but yeah, don't, don't really know what to say. Don't know a lot about these. Don't even know what species he is, but he's something. That turtle was the last species we found here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we found and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.